Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales for another unboxing of your creative studio. Now this is a fantastic subscription box that you can buy month by month or you can buy several, like three months in a row. They give the most amazing journaling bits and pieces and I've done several videos before. So let's get into this one. And there's a lovely card that says thank you. And again, that can be used in journaling. Now, I think this is the artistic or the artist box, if I'm right. And I haven't opened it, as you can see. And this is what you are looking at. This is what you get. Fantastic. So let's dive in. Beautifully packaged as always. Your creative studio stickers and you can reuse these little envelopes for any other things in your journals oh and in here we've got two stickers stickers beg your pardon let me put them down here so you can see because my light's not so great at the moment we've got two stamps and one is of a oh i don't know why the light's so bad paint box and one is of a painting palette Lovely. They're mounted on foam, which is absolutely fantastic. They're really lovely. And here we have another fantastic envelope. It's so exciting. And in this one, we've got two more stamps. We've got a pot of paint brushes. I'm really sorry if you can't see this very clearly. My lighting isn't great at the moment. And we have a paintbrush in a hand. Let's um, open another envelope. How cute is that? Try not to um, destroy it because it is something I would use again. Oh, now this is washy. Look at that. So from what I can see, and I haven't got my glasses on, that looks like a pot of ink. And the colours are like a terracotta and beige. Oh, there's a paintbrush really pretty find loads of uses for that and so i'm just gonna put my sleeve up and another one and oh in this one we've got two more lovely stamps so that's a easel and that is of a painter now for those of you that know your people and your painters you probably know who that is but I don't. <laughs> if it's not someone famous, then it can be in your journal. <laughs> and next we have paper ephemera. Oh, look at the colours. These colours are beautiful. Very spring and summery. So we've got teeny weeny pieces here. That's a little flower. Oh, look at that. That's a paintbrush with a little flower on it. And we've got easels. I mean, you don't have to use these in like an arty sort of themed journal. Um, if I just drop them on the floor. No. You can use these in spring and summer because there's flowers and the colours are just beautiful. You can put them in some happy mail. Look at those tags. Really, really pretty labels. And yes, all the colours are very pastel. Beautiful, beautiful. And there's always above and beyond what you think you're going to get. The price of these boxes are not that expensive. And what I will do is I will tag her shop below. You can follow um, my creative, your creative craft, crafting on Instagram. Sorry, I haven't done a video in quite some time. Little banners and then we've got a bust. Some more little labels, but these are all beautiful. Absolutely lovely. I can't, oh, that's a tube of paint. How cute is that? More paint. So that's those. And then here we've got, it looks like stickers. So let's open these. Oh, there's different little bits of ephemera in here. So you've got 
some labels that have got a hole punched out of them and the little string that you can use to put in the top. And then these are like little washi stickers and there's these little stamps, ticket. Again, these can be used in a whole different range of journals and themes. Not necessarily arty. Oh, look at the Volkswagen. Beautiful. Stamps cash receipts fantastic okay next i'll tell you what there's tons in here we've got this and this is like a postcard with a selection of stamps oh there's several postcards in here i beg your pardon let's just put those there a moment so these have been is there one or two i beg no it is one there you go how nice is that though and then you've got a selection of images that are cut as stamps. That's really pretty. Really pretty. I mean, you can use ordinary stamps in your journals as well. There's nothing wrong with that. But these are like also that little extra. And you might have a theme like birds or something. So that's got 15 on. Oh, look, there's a little old-fashioned sewing machine there. And that's got a little bird on it. Really, really beautiful. Oh, look, now we've got more stamps here. This is in a lovely plastic, like a, you know, a clip plastic. And it's quite a thick plastic, actually. So that would protect these beautifully i don't need to take them out so you can see you've got paint brushes splodges splatters lines there's a palette there that looks like um oh like a, a clay a tool that you use for clay and things really lovely that would bring quite a lot of texture to your journals and then here we've got some washi stamps and I think they are stickers. Yes, they are. Honestly, there's tons in here. Now this is, oh, it says masking tape. Let's have a look. Feels quite thin, so it might be like a tissuey masking tape. I don't know, but we'll get in. Oh, look, it's, it's tissue paper. And it's lovely and it's very, very thin. So you could do decoupage with this. That would work really well. Or layer it up for your tags or your journals. And there's several of those in there. We're running out of room here, folks. Now, what have we got here? Date, month. So this is a little booklet. And in here, we've got... Bits of different forms, I guess. That says food list. And, you know, again, these are fantastic for using. Sorry, I'm showing you a white page. Fantastic for using for layering up. They feel very smooth. I don't know if they're a sticker or not. I don't think they are. No. But how lovely are these? Just if you want a little snippet or something. Let's do it that way. So they're all slightly different. Gorgeous. It says 30p on there. <laughs> but I don't think they've come from this country. Oh, look at this little pack. Do you know, I love the packaging. Absolutely love it. Right, let's get into this one. Look at that. How cute is that? That's actually a lovely idea if you wanted to send some happy mail to somebody. You know, I would never think of doing something like that, but now I've seen it. So we'll take the string off. And of course, you can use the string or twine, whatever you want to call it, for lots of different things. And in here, we've got more little bits of ephemera, days of the week there. And labels. And then here, we've got bits of ephemera, postcards. That's a bit of, oh, that's a textured paper, that is. Can you see the little grains in it? 
That's really nice. And that one's also textured. Such a fabulous little pocket of goodness, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And we're getting to the bottom. I think I'm in the last package now. And look at this. So this must be papers. Paper ephemera, yeah. So there's stickers, vellum paper, art paper and pattern paper. And it says it looks amazing in your cards, journals, spreads, scrapbooks, tags and much more. So there you go. You can use all of this in all of those. Or you can just do what I do sometimes and just hoard them and look at them and love them. But I, I do tend to share because you never use all that you've got. And we're like magpies, aren't we, when it comes to journaling supplies. And for me, it's anything from fabric to journals to papers, stamps, paints, whatever. Now, this is a paper. I think the ones before were the vellum um, papers. So beautiful. I mean, that would look lovely on a card. So pretty. Ooh, I've got to try and make sure it doesn't fall off my desk. Fantastic. Oh, look. These are so beautiful. And again, with the, the colours and the sort of um, the pastels of them, you could use these in any sort of spring, summer type of journal. But this, this, I think, is the vellum. Yes, it feels quite waxy, but look at the other side. Can you see? Beautiful. So you can put these in your journals as a page or you can have it as a flip up if you wanted to use the whole part of it or you can cut bits off it. And then you've got this paper at the back, you know, which is supporting all of these, but that can be used as well. So there we go. Wow. Another fantastic box um, from Your Creative Studio. Now, like I said, I will link the shop below. Um, there is a whole different array of, you know, themes of boxes that you can get. I think I've had a vintage one that I've opened here before. I had a cookery one not so long ago. So I just want to tempt you. Go and treat yourself and see what your creative studio can offer you. It always amazing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you again soon. Bye bye.